So I have today Cranston GWN7624 access point, which is indoor in wall access point, and it has four cross four MU MIMO technology on 5G band and two cross two on 2G band, and it has three network output port in which two ports are PoE output. And one is normal LAN output. And this device can be powered through PoE and PoE plus. So the back side is having PoE input connection. And so I'm showing you the data sheet of the access point. So this is a hybrid access point which has two cross two and four cross four. MU MIMO technology it has 2.03 gbps wireless throughput and 4 gigabit wireless ports and it has up to 200 concurrent clients and embedded control of 30 access points and it can be powered up through poe or poe plus And the coverage range is 100 meter. And you can create up to 16 SSIDs total and 8 per radio 2.4G and 8 for 5 gigahertz band. So you can use PSE devices to the access point. They can be powered up like a IP phone. A discovery tool of Grass Team, which can be downloaded from support and tools and GWN discovery tool. Click on the option and the file will be downloaded. After download of the discovery tool, extract the file and run exe file. So this application is used to discover the access point which are in that same network. So I have installed the application on my system and I'm going to run GWN discovery tool. So to better use, connect your system to the LAN network. Sometimes it did not detect access point when the laptop is connected to the Wi-Fi. So it can scan all the access point and I have connected GWN 7624. You can see here. So there are two ways to log in the access point. The first option is to log in via the MAC address or the second option is to log in the access point via the IP address. So we are using the first option via its MAC address. You need to type HTTPS colon GWN underscore access point MAC address dot local. Now I'm going to show you same way in the IP address mode. So I just entered the IP address and hit enter. So the same login page is visible from IP address as well. So I'm going to log in from the MAC address option. The default password is mentioned behind the device. So as you log in first time, it will give you setup wizard. Click on don't show me this again and click on next. Then select your country and time zone. Post then click next. If there are multiple access point connected and they are not configured, then they will be visible here. Since one access point is connected, so it is showing only one access point and it is in master mode. So click next and then set your SSID. So I'm using Grandstream AP here. So there are a few options security mode, WPA key mode, WPA encryption types, 
and WPA preset key. So keep the default settings and enter your Wi-Fi password. So after clicking save, it will take all the services reload. So after all the services reloaded, you can see the dashboard where you can see the AP status, client status, and channel distribution status for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. And top AP is throughput, top SSID is used data, and top clients use data. And if there is any alert, it will be visible here. So dashboard will give you all the detail of your client access point and channel distribution and data uses. So I have connected one more access point to the network and it is showing here you need to click on access point and then configuration and then click on discover ap once you click it will be visible here the slave access point just click on pair it will show you provisioning as soon as the provisioning completed it will go offline and then come back to the online total two access point are online and we can see here the channel utilized for both the access points 2.4 and 5g channels so we have already created ssid so these are the default settings of the ssid client ip assignment which is in set to the bridge mode bridge mode that is the clients will get the ip from the router and if you set net mode then the client will get the ip address from access point net pool so we are using here bridge mode and the ssid band is set to dual band dual band that means it will broadcast 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band in same ssid there is one more most important thing you need to set multicast broadcast suppression to enabled and convert ip multicast to unicast to active mode so it will remove extra traffic to the wi-fi client and they will get the proper speed after that click on save click apply i have connected one device to the ssid and you can see the details mac address host wireless type connectivity ip address radio channel online time rsi value and ssid on which the client is connected so in the dashboard you can as well see the client is connected to the 5g band and the one more important thing is you need to set band steering in radio option to 5g in priority so that any new client connected to the ssid will get the 5g channel first if they are not supported 5g then they will connect to the 2.4 band